again? And why is this friggin' door locked all the time? running you to school every day. It's okay, I can still get the bus. Look, what about your breakfast? James, is your mummy not leaving you in today? Another free period. I'm a fifth former now. I get lots of free periods. And how's the coursework coming along? All right. I've almost finished the last book, but I'm not enjoying it. Let's see if we can find you something else. But this is your copy. I trust you. I hope it will benefit you. Sure it will. Thank you very much. I didn't know you played piano. I heard the choir practice earlier. Yes, well, um... I've been playing since I was a child. I'd love to play an instrument. Can you teach music too? No, I just enjoy playing. Thanks again for the book. I'll leave it back as soon as I can. Take care, James.
please. Wait. I've noticed you here before. I can see you're nervous. Don't be. I've never done this before. You'll be safe with me. We can just talk. I can't. It'll be all right. You won't do anything you don't want to do. Someone could come in. No one ever comes in here. But if you'd like, we can go somewhere else. My car's outside. I have to go. My father's waiting for me. Did you manage to miss both buses? I mean, have I not got enough to do? I had to stay behind for my art class. I didn't realise the time. You've been doing a lot of that lately. I'm sorry. James, is something wrong? Has something happened at school? I'm just tired. I'm all right. Something's wrong with you. I just have a lot of work to do. You worry too much about that boy. Have you ever known him to get into trouble? That's not the point. Something's obviously troubling him. I'm sure he's fine. He's just at a difficult age. He's probably lusting after some girl. You never take things seriously. What if something is wrong? Then he'll tell us. He never tells us anything. Do you know that? He never talks about his friends, his school, nothing. I'm sure he'll be fine in a day or two. Yeah, I'm sure he will. You're no fucking good. Who will let you then? I don't start that again. You weren't forced. I was only doing what I thought was best at the time. I was young. And you knew exactly what you were doing. I just went along with things. I should never have gone with you. I thought we left that part behind us. I just don't like you. You never want to talk about anything. I don't think you give a damn about me or James. What do you mean? You don't think I work hard enough for this family? Family? What family? You're never here! I don't think you even care for your son. Oh Christ, it's always about him, hmm? If anything's wrong with him, it's your doing. You knew I never wanted fucking kids.
Is everything okay? Well, I know you're not here to talk about your coursework. What's troubling you? Well, I am having trouble with my coursework. I can't work at home. Well, it's important to have a comfortable working environment. Plus, it's a good idea to have a revision timetable. But you need to find time to relax. It's just... At home, I don't get much peace. My parents... I understand. Sometimes relationships can be difficult. Have you tried talking to them? It's difficult. I need to talk to someone who understands. Understands? I think I... I might... Be gay. You weren't expecting that, were you? Actually, I was. It takes a lot of courage to tell someone what you just told me. You're very brave. I feel so stupid. I'm sorry. You're the only one I've told. I didn't know who else. It's okay, James. You've done the right thing. But I wouldn't go telling anyone else. It could get difficult. I remember years ago and other people here having an awful time for that reason. I don't care about that. Don't have any friends here anyway. Wouldn't make a difference. You have friends. I've seen you with pupils in my class. They're just classmates. You're my friend. Uh, James, you misunderstand. Um, I can't do anything for you. I mean, I can listen, but as your teacher, I can't give you any advice. Sorry. Perhaps it would be best if you speak to the school counsellor. I don't need a counsellor. Well, if you don't want that, there are, there are uh, helplines and church groups. I mean, I can get you phone numbers, but I can't do anything else for you. I told you, you've been very brave coming to me, but you can't come here anymore. And trust me, you might be angry with me now, but this is for your own good. I have to get some books from the main office, but uh, you can stay here for a while if you wish. Somewhere we could go. 